car besties it's tadia and this is my integra the crosser so earlier this week i got some led lights from this company called bosla uh, they actually sent me these led lights so this video is sponsored by them and uh, what's interesting about this light led light is that it has four different led color modes modes and so uh, i'm gonna test them out and uh, let you guys know how i feel about them the manual and here's the LED light and I believe this will be the LED drive that controls the four different modes so I'm gonna try and find a dark garage parking garage and test these out all right so we are in a parking garage so that we can test the headlights so currently I have my halogen headlights um, and I'm about to switch them over to the LED lights. So here are the standard halogen bulbs. Okay, so here is the headlight assembly right here. Okay, so you want to unplug this like that and then twist the bulb and there you go. Okay, so here is the LED light assembly that I'm going to install. Connected to. So let's compare the two lights to the wall. So I have the LED on the left side of the car and the standard halogens on the right side of the car. Wow, it's definitely brighter. Let's change the colors. Yellow. And this one uh, is called their SOS mode. Comparing he LED headlights from my Integra to another car that actually came with LED lights. Go ahead. There is a difference. So I gain access to this headlight aimer right here. So I'm going to be using this for this project. So you aim the machine at the headlights. So looking at this, it looks like my uh, headlights is a little bit too low. So here is with the LED headlights. That's what it looks like. Um, one thing that I do not like about this is that I can actually move this around, which you can see that it kind of moves the the light around too so I don't like how it's actually can be easily manipulated so let's see how they look like um, driving on the freeway So those are the colors of the LED lights. Uh, I'm gonna drive it back home and then see if they actually hold up since um, they're not really secure into the headlights, but we'll see. Okay, so I just got home and uh, now I'm gonna check to see how the li LED lights uh, did on the way home. Okay. All right, so it looks like they did stay in place, but I know for sure that um, they did twist a little bit because I'm pretty sure I had both um, the golden side of the light actually facing up but, and then you can see that this one stayed in place while this one twisted and now you can see both the gold and silver um, side of the light. So they said that this bulge right here is what keeps this uh, or locks this base in place. Yes, it does, but only to one direction. It does not prevent the base from rotating the other direction, you see? So when you go to install the light, 
you have to rotate the light clockwise to um, so that the base will lock in into the headlight assembly. So because it's f rotating freely, it will just rotate all the way a whole round until it reaches the bulge again. Then it will sort of lock in place. But there's nothing that's stopping the light from rotating while you're driving, from rotating a little bit back, and out it goes without the base. So that should not be the case. And also if I want to uninstall the light with the base, I have to go the other way again until it reaches the bulge, and there you go. So this is not the correct way that you should be installing a light, uh, an LED light. This is how it's supposed to be installed. Done. Locks in place. So I contacted Bosla to let them know my concerns about the light being able to move freely and their recommendation is that I have to take out the o-ring from my old headlight or headlight bulb and install that ring onto their LED lights to create more resistance to uh, make sure that they stay in place. I don't really like that recommendation because for the money that you're spending on the LED lights, uh, you should not be using uh, an old part from your old headlights to make it work for your car. So the second thing that I brought up to them was uh, my concern about the lights being out of sync when you change the color. And because it happened during my initial testing of the LED lights and they told they recommend me to do a force restart which is basically just turning on and off uh, the headlights uh, three times within 1.2 seconds and after that I never really had another issue of uh, the lights being out of sync so that one was resolved Overall, I think that the color changing LED lights is a very good concept. However, functionality wise, it's not for me because I don't want to daily my car and have the lights slowly work its way out of um, the light, the headlights assembly, and you know, leaving me with no with no headlights, and um, also water and other stuff can get into my um, headlights too which i don't want but i think that it'll work really good if you have a um, show car and you don't really daily the car that much because it's actually a pretty cool um, function to be able to switch uh, light colors also initially i thought that my headlights is aimed a little bit too low but it after doing a bit of research it turns out that uh, the angle that i have my headlights at or my lights at is actually within spec because it's more about the angle and not how far away um, the light is actually shining because if you if I were to adjust it a bit uh, a bit more higher I'm probably gonna be blinding people that's going uh, cars that's going the opposite direction so that's why I'm just I'm not gonna be adjusting or I didn't do any adjustments on my headlights if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. Also, don't forget to turn on your notification so that you can see more videos. And if there's any other products that you would like me to review, please let me know because I am I actually enjoy doing reviews um, for products for my car. So yeah, let me know. And thank you for watching. Bye!